The University of Oregon football program is nationally known for flashy uniforms, state-of-the-art facilities, and a blur offense that often has defenders seen double on the field. But this wasn't always the case. The last 10 years have revolutionized the Oregon football program forever. Prior to 2001, the Oregon Ducks were a relatively unknown program outside of the Pac-10. This would quickly change after Heisman finalist quarterback Joey Harrington led the Ducks to their first 11-win season in program history. A major breakthrough was 2001 when Oregon finished the season ranked second in the country. Um, should have played for the national championship that year, did not, but uh, I think in respect of the end result, a very dominating performance in the Fiesta Bowl over Colorado. Well, the Fiesta Bowl year was a special year. You know, we'd lost to Stanford, it was our only loss uh, in a wild game. We did beat Colorado handily in the Fiesta Bowl, and that was one of the best wins and greatest feelings around here in, uh, in a long time. From 2002 to 2008, the Ducks made a bowl game each season except 2004. After former head coach Mike Bellotti retired in 2008, then offensive coordinator Chip Kelly was hired as a head coach in 2009. We had a lot of great talent, but guys quite didn't really get it. Um, Chip Kelly came in and changed that. He pretty much taught us that in order to become, you know, a big deal, you have to take care of the small deals first, and that, that comes with going to class, tutor sessions, doing things off the field correctly. So therefore, when this comes time for the easy part, which is what you love to do, what you're like created to do, what you're made to do, and you're trained to do, um, that would be pretty much easy. Since Kelly began his tenure as head coach, the program has taken off into the national spotlight, appearing in three straight BCS games, including the national championship in 2010. I don't know if you could have uh, a greater feeling than playing a national championship game other than to turn back a year or go forward a year ahead and win the Rose Bowl. With the ascension of the program, the national media has taken notice. College game day coming out here. I think that, that uh, the national championship game year, we probably had, them, I think, four total times that year. Oregon has gone from what I would say of a regional brand to a national brand. So you have a wider array of news media uh, now interested in the University of Oregon. The program's success has also had a tremendous financial impact. The Oregon Athletic Department is one of only 22 Division I schools that is financially self-sustaining, remaining completely independent from a university administration. It says a couple things. One, it, that you know our fans are awesome for wanting to come to our games, um, so it means our athletes must be doing a really good job, um, and you know our our business office is doing a great job of of managing the funds, so we are able to be self-sustaining. The football program is the most profitable of all sports, grossing more than $29 million last year, according to the U.S. Department of Education. Other income for the program also includes donor money. Phil Knight, he's done a lot, not only with the football program, but here at the university as well. Um, so it's a, it's a great door to have, especially for those guys who are looking at the next level after college football. University of Oregon alum and Nike co-founder Phil Knight has donated an estimated $300 million to the athletic department and is largely responsible for numerous facilities and buildings on the University of Oregon campus. Phil Knight's been great to this program. You know, when it's all said and done, he's been great. He's donated a lot of money to a lot of, a lot of our football program, basketball arena, law school, law, night law school, other things on campus. You know, he's been an outstanding alum and a guy that can really do some things to make a difference. And his, uh, his impact on this program has been immeasurable. Nike has been revolutionary ever since their inception in the 70s. And so that just carried over and sets the University of Oregon apart. With the growing attention and rapid expansion of the University of Oregon and the football program, the sky is the limit for current and future ducks.